Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie. I write underneath the pen name Esten Ritson. Typically my uh, videos are about my books, but this time this video is going to be about other people's books. In, in particular, books that I plan on reading for the Amazing Readathon, which is in the month of June. There's a whole list of rules and prompts and things, and if you're not familiar with the Amazing Readathon, check out this channel right here across the bottom of my screen. I'll also link it down in the uh, description box below the um, announcement video so you can get in on all the goods and the rules and all that and how it goes. Basically, there's 10 cities that you visit. Each city has a prompt. You don't know what that prompt is until you till the day of the prompt. But then there's other ways that you can read books to get extra points. And those are called sightseeing books. And each prompt is worth a certain number of points. These books that I'm going to be um, talking about are the books that I'll be reading for those um, sightseeing prompts, extra points. But again, I can't read those books until I get the city prompts read. Anyway, anyways, um, here's my selection of books that I'll be reading. And yes, most of them are going to be romance because I'm team romance. And when you read a book of the genre that you're a team of, you get extra points as well as getting extra points if it is a uh, author that is a queer author. So, anyways, enjoy my book. After taking some time trying to find one book for each and every prompt, which is 50 of them, I thought that was going to take a long time. So, I've narrowed it down to 10 different prompts. Most of them are romance books because I'm on Team Romance for the readathon. But um, I'm just going to go through the list and I will be sharing the link in the description box down below, like I said. So, I'm just going to go through the list. Here we go. The first one is The Baby Plan by Emma Bennett. It was released in 2024. It's a romance book and it is 198 pages. I'm including the page number when I was able to find one. If it would help you when reading for a city prompt as opposed to saving it for a sightseeing prompt. But again, we don't know what the city prompts are until we are traveling and we know. All right, next one on the list is Promise Cove. It is by Vicki McKeon. That's a romance and it's been on ITBR for more than a year. In fact, I I acquired it according to my Kindle Cloud library back in like 2015 or 2016. So it's been on there a while. Next one I have for you is another romance. It's an odd number of pages at 277 pages and it's My Paper, my paper Heart by Megan Vernon. Next one is, okay, so this one, I think might fit the prompt for it's a game or has a game or competition in it. It is a nonfiction book called Bringing Down the House. It's about those group of students from MIT who went to Vegas and got caught. And there's a movie about it called 21, which is based on this book. Now I'm going to ask, and if it does, um, meet the qualifications for having a game or competition because Blackjack, the card game, is in it. I'm going to use it for this prompt. Another one I have is Shut Out Rules of the Game by Avery Keelan. And that one is 336 pages. It has a sport in it, which is hockey, and it's a romance. There you go. Now I have another book by Emma Bennett on here called The One That Got Away. It has a number in the title. It's a romance, 185 pages. And then I have Rose, an Oregon Ever After Fairy Tale Retelling by Morgan Dawson, 194 pages. And as the title suggests, it is a fairy tale retelling. And I looked on Amazon, it is categorized as historical romance. So I'm it's a romance as well. I have three more to do. Raspberries and Vinegar are Farm Fresh Romance, book one by Valerie Comer. Has it covers a food prompt. It's an odd number of pages, and it's a romance book. The next one I have is That Summer, A Small Town, Friends and Lover Romance. It's book six of That Boy series by Julian Todd. There is a car on the cover. It's also a romance, and 328 pages. And finally, I have a book that is 106 pages. It's a romance. It's called Untamed Magic. It's Pentacles of Magic, book one, by Eliza Gale. One of the prompts is it's a romance, so or has a romance. So if you want to get that sightseeing prompt taken care of, it's all 100, 106 pages. So I think that would be a good choice for you guys. 
Okay, so I managed to do that all in one sitting. I am pleased I was able to do it without much interruption. So those are my 10, maybe 12 books I have and putting those choices out for you to choose from. And now I'm going to go back to perusing all the videos of suggestions from other people participating in the Amazing Readathon 2024 edition. As always, thanks for watching this all the way to the end and have a wonderful day. Bye.